Hi everyone, in today's video I'll show you how to crochet this really pretty shawl pattern using only a two row repeat. We'll be achieving this look using chain, single crochet, slip stitches, double crochets, and puff stitches. For this tutorial I'll be using lightweight 3 yarn with a 3.5 millimeter hook. So to begin go ahead and chain up 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and you are going to slip stitch into that very first chain. From here go ahead and chain 3 one two three and inside the circle you are going to be placing two double crochets one two from here chain two one two and place three double crochets into the circle one two and three. Go ahead and chain two, one, two, and place three double crochets in the circle. One, two, three. Chain two, one, two, and place your final three double crochets in the circle. One, two, and three. From here, go ahead and chain up three. One, two, and three, and turn your work. In this very first chain space of two, you are going to be placing a shell. And to do a shell, it is three double crochets a chain of two and an additional three double crochets all in the same chain space. So three double crochets in that chain space. That's one, two, three. And from here chain two, one, two, and place three double crochets in that same chain space. One, two, Three. You will be starting every single row with a shell to create the border of our pattern. From here, go ahead and chain three. One, two, three. And in this second chain space of two, go ahead and place a double crochet. From here, chain three one two three and in the same chain space place a double crochet go ahead and chain three one two three and in this final chain space you will be placing a shell to end the row so again that's three double crochets chain two and three double crochets So there's my first three double crochets. I'm going to chain two and place an additional three double crochets in that same chain space. And three. You will also be ending every single row with a shell. So you start every row with a shell and end every row with a shell. To begin the next row, go ahead and chain up three. One two, three, and flip your work. Start the row with your beginning shell. So that's three double crochets. One, two, three, chain two, one, two, and an additional three double crochets all in the same chain space. One, two, and three. From here, go ahead and chain three. One, two, three. We will be working two double crochets together into this very first double crochet in the middle. But what I'm going to do is place a stitch marker into this second double crochet because we are going to have to flip our work in this row 
and work into that double crochet and it will get a little bit confusing so I suggest placing a stitch marker on that second double crochet. So after chaining three, you're going to be working into the post of this double crochet. So you're going to be placing two double crochets together. So go ahead and turn your work like this and work into this double crochet. So put two double crochets together. So I started with one and I didn't finish it because I'm going to yarn over again. Enter, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through three. So that's two double crochets together. And on top of these two double crochet togethers, we are going to be placing a three chain picot. So chain up three, one, two, three. You're going to insert your hook into the three loops in the front. You're going to pull through and complete a single crochet. So we're going to repeat this for a total of four times so that we have four of these designs all into this first double crochet that we're working into. I'll show you the front of the pattern again. So this is the front and we are working into this first double crochet. So again, I'm going to be placing two double crochets together. That's one double crochet that's not finished. Yarn over, insert, pull through. Yarn over, pull through the two. Yarn over, pull through the three. And on top of this, I'll be placing a three chain picot. One, two, three. Insert your hook into the three front loops and complete a single crochet. So now that I have two designs, I'm going to continue for a total of four. So yarn over, put two double crochets together. That's one double crochet. There's a second one and pull through the last three to make them complete. From here, you will do a three chain picot on top. So chain up three, two, three. You're going to insert your hook into those three front loops and you're going to go in with a single crochet. Repeat it for a final time. So yarn over, insert into that double crochet, prepare for a double crochet but don't finish it. Yarn over, insert, now yarn over and pull through the first two and yarn over and pull through the three to complete chain up three, one, two, three, place your hook into the first three loops, pull through for a single crochet. So now that we've made these four designs all into the double crochet, this is what it looks like in the front. It sticks out a bit. So from here, you are going to chain three, one, two, three, and slip stitch into that same double crochet that we've been working in. Now we are going to turn our work and work into that second double crochet that we placed our stitch marker in. So I'm going to turn a little bit going to turn it counterclockwise a quarter of the way and I'm going to remove this stitch marker because I can see that this is my double crochet that I want to work in So this is my second double crochet right here <clears throat> and I'm going to slip stitch into that double crochet just like that. From here I'm going to chain up three, one, two, three. And in this second double crochet that we are still working on, you're going to be placing two double crochets together. You're going to repeat 
everything we did into the first single crochet, into the first double crochet, and the second double crochet. <clears throat> so you're gonna be placing two double crochets together. That's one. Pull through the three to complete. And up here, you're going to be placing a three chain picot. So into those first three loops, pull through for a single crochet. So still working into this second double crochet in this row, you're going to repeat this for a total of four designs. So two double crochets together again. Chain up three, one, two, three. Go into those first three loops in the front and complete a single crochet. Let's repeat it again. Two double crochets together. One, two, pull through the three to close it. Three chain pico on top. One, two, three. Insert into the loops and finish with a single crochet. So now we have three designs right here. One, two, three, and we're gonna come we're gonna repeat it for a final time for a total of four designs. So yarn over and place your final two double crochets into that same space we've been working in. Chain three, one, two, three, enter the first three loops and complete your single crochet. So this is what the front of the pattern should look like right now. So we placed our design into that double crochet in the middle. And now you see it's making the petals. So from here, go ahead and chain three. One, two, three, and we're gonna finish up this row by placing a shell into the ending border. So again, a shell is three double crochets. One, two, three, a chain two, one, two, and three double crochets again. One, two, three. To begin the next row, go ahead and chain up three. One, two, three, and flip your work. Start the row by placing your beginning shell into that first border. So that's one, two, three double crochets, chain two, and three double crochets, and three. From here, you are going to chain three, one, two, three, and in this very first chain space of three, you will be placing a double crochet, chain three, one, two, three, and place a double crochet in that same chain space of three. We are preparing for this second design on the right. So from here, you are going to chain three. One, two, three. And looking at the back of this design we made last time, you will see this chain three space right in the middle. And we are going to be placing a puff stitch into that chain space. So we're going to yarn over, insert into that chain space and pull up a loop, yarn over, insert, pull up a second loop, yarn over, insert, pull up three, yarn over, insert, pull up four, yarn over, insert, pull up five, yarn over, insert, pull up six. So 
So now that I have six loops on my hook, I'm going to yarn over and pull through those six loops. I'm going to leave the last two loops on my hook and I'm gonna yarn over and pull through those two to close it up. That is how we will be creating puff stitches throughout this design. From here, chain three. One, two, three. And into this chain space right before our border shell, this chain three space, we will be placing a double crochet. One, chain three, one, two, three. And in that same chain space, place a double crochet again. Chain three, one, two, three. And finish up this row by placing your shell border at the end one two three chain two one two and three double crochets one two and three To begin the next row, chain up three, one, two, three, and flip your work. Start the row by placing your shell border in the beginning. One, two, three, chain two, and one, two, three. From here, you will notice the next part of this pattern goes straight into these two double crochets that we made in the previous row. And in this, these two double crochets, we will once again be making this design that we made in the beginning. This design right here. So before we start that, I'm going to be placing a stitch marker again into the second double crochet in this design. So to begin, chain three, one, two, three. We are going to be working into this first double crochet right here and we will be placing two double crochets together with a three chain picot on top. So yarn over and I'm gonna turn my work so that I can work into this double crochet right here. And I'm gonna be placing two double crochets together. So there's my first one and I didn't complete it. I'm gonna prepare for a second one, pull through the two but don't complete it. Yarn over and pull through the three to close it up. Put a three chain picot on top. So that's one, two, three. Go into those three front loops of your design. Pull through for a single crochet. And there's your first design. Again, complete this for a total of four designs all in this first double crochet. So two double crochets again together. That's one double crochet, two double crochets, and pull through the three to close them both up. Chain up three. Insert your hook into those first three loops and close it with a single crochet. Again, two double crochets together. One, two, chain up three, and place your hook in those three front loops and complete with a single crochet. Repeat this sequence one more time for a total of four designs. One, two, three, Go through those first three loops and close with a single crochet. Now that we have our four designs, we are going to chain three, one, two, three, and slip stitch into that same double crochet chain space we've been working on. So now we are going to flip our work. We're gonna find this double crochet that we put a stitch marker in and I see it's right here. I'm gonna remove the stitch marker. And in this double crochet, 
chain space, I'm going to be slip stitching. I'm going to chain up three, one, two, three, and we are going to repeat our sequence of two double crochets together with a chain three picot on top four times. So two double crochets together, that's your first, your second, pull through the last three to close them up, chain up three, insert your hook into those three loops, and close a, with a single crochet. There's your first design, go ahead and continue repeating until you have a total of four designs. Pull through the three to complete, chain three, Go into those first three loops, one, two, and three, and close with a single crochet. Yarn over, insert, pull through to start a double crochet. Yarn over, insert, and put two double crochets together. Chain three. Go through those first three loops. Yarn over and close with a single crochet. Now we have three. We are going to be placing one more to end this design. So two double crochets together. Chain three. Go into the first three loops and close with a single crochet. So now you've started your second design. So now you are going to chain one and you are going to skip this middle design right here. And you are going to repeat what we just did into these two double crochets to begin this third design. So again, I'll be placing a stitch marker into my second double crochet. And after chaining one from the last design I'm going to repeat again so working into this first double crochet into this first double crochet right here I'm gonna flip my work a little bit I'm gonna turn it just a little and I'm gonna be working two double crochets together in a three chain pico on top and close with a single crochet. I'm gonna do this for, again, a total of four times until I have my design. So, two double crochets together, chain three, close with a pico. So now that I have a total of four designs, I'm going to chain three, one, two, three, and slip stitch into that same double crochet chain space. So now I'm looking at the front of my work again, and I'm gonna flip it slightly, and I'm gonna find this second double crochet that I put a st stitch marker in, remove that stitch marker, And in that second double crochet, go ahead and slip stitch. Chain three, one, two, three, and again, repeat your sequence for a total of four times to complete this design. So two double crochets together, chain three, Insert into the three front loops and close the picot with a single crochet. 
repeat the sequence again for a total of four designs in this second double crochet. One, two, three, into the first three loops, single crochet. One, two double crochets together, chain three for a picot, insert into the first three loops and close with a single crochet. So now that I have four designs and this is what the front of my shawl is looking like. From here, you're gonna go ahead and chain three. One, two, three, and finish up this row by placing your shell into that ending border. So that's three double crochets. One, two, three, chain two, one, two, and an additional three double crochets to finish this shell. One, two, three. To begin the next row, go ahead and chain up three. One, two, three, and flip your work. Go ahead and place your beginning shell into the border. One, two, three, chain two, one, two, one, two, three. From here, chain three, one, two, three, and in this chain space of three, Right here, you are going to be placing a double crochet. So one double crochet, chain three, one, two, three, and in that same chain space, place a double crochet again. Chain three, one, two, three. We are looking at the back of the design we made in the previous row right here. You're going to find this chain three space that connects those two designs and you're going to be placing a six loop puff stitch. So again, yarn over, insert, and you're going to pull up one, yarn over, insert, pull up two, yarn over, insert, pull up three, yarn over, insert, pull up four, yarn over, insert, pull up five, yarn over, insert, pull up six. Yarn over, you're going to pull through all six of those loops that we pulled up. You're going to leave the last two yarn over and pull through those two to close and that is how we will be placing a puff stitch in this row chain three one two three you are going to find this chain one space that we worked in the last row between the two separate designs and you will be placing a double crochet chain three one, two, three, and in that same chain space, place a double crochet again. Chain three, one, two, three. You'll be looking at the back of the design that we made in the previous row. You're gonna find the chain three space, and you're going to be placing a six puff stitch. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Yarn over and pull through all six loops. Leave the last two on your hook. Yarn over and pull through the last two to close. Chain three, one, two, three. And in this chain space of three before we end this row, you will be placing a double crochet in that chain three space chain three one two three and in that same chain space place an additional double crochet chain three one 
Now you're ready to end this row. Chain three, one, two, three, and place your design, your shell design into the end. One, two, three, chain two, one, two, and your final three double crochets to end the shell. One, two, and three. This is what the back of design back of the design should look like so far and this is what the front should look like to begin the next row let's go ahead and chain up three one two three and turn our work start the row with your beginning shell one two three chain two One, two, three. So you go ahead and see these two double crochets. We'll be working our petal designs in there. And then the two double crochets, which will become another petal, and the two do double crochets at the end, which will become a third petal. So starting in the first set of two double crochets, I'm going to be placing my stitch marker in that second one. And I'm gonna focus on that first double crochet for now. So go ahead and chain three. One, two, three. And I'm gonna be placing my two double crochet togethers into the post of that first double crochet. So I'm going to turn the work a little bit so I can work comfortably in that double crochet post. And I'm going to be placing two double crochets together to start the design. So after two double crochets together, you're going to put a chain three picot on top and secure it with a single crochet. Two double crochets together again. chain three pico on top close with a single crochet two double crochets together chain three pico on top close with a single crochet two double crochets together chain three pico on top close with a single crochet so now that you have your four designs again you are going to chain three one two three and single crochet into the same double cro I mean slip stitch into that same double crochet post you've been working on so there's your four designs one two three four and we are going to go back to the front of our design like this and find where you place that stitch marker on that second double crochet right there remove your stitch marker and slip stitch into that second double crochet post chain up three one two three and again repeat your design sequence for a total of four times one two three chain pico on top single crochet this is the third design chain three Pico at the top with a single crochet and for the final design 
One, two, three. So now that I have a total of four designs, I am going to chain one. And I'm gonna find this second set of two double crochets and work a middle design into that. So again, placing my stitch marker on that second double crochet. I'm gonna be working my first four designs into that first double crochet and then my second four designs into that last double crochet. So after I've completed my second design, again, I'm going to chain one and repeat what I just did into the final set of two double crochets before the ending border. So this is what it looks like so far. So chain one and work into these two double crochets for your final design in this row. So I've completed all three designs on this row. And to end this row, I'm going to chain three one, two, three, and I'm going to find the ending border and I'm going to place a shell in it. One, two, three, chain two, and three double crochets. Two, and three. To begin the next row, again, this is repeating already, so chain three, turn your work, and place your beginning shell. Chain two, three double crochets. One, two, and three. Again, this row is another repeat row. So from here, chain three, one, two, three. You're gonna find this first chain space of three right here and you're going to be placing a double crochet. That's gonna set you up for a design in the next row. Chain three and double crochet in that same chain space again. You're gonna chain three, one, two, three. You're going to find the chain three space behind the design you made in the previous row and you're going to be placing a six loop puff. So again, pull up six loops on your hook. Yarn over, pull through all six of those loops, leave the last two yarn over and pull through the two to close. Chain three, one, two, three. And you're gonna find this chain one space right here between the two designs that we made in the previous row. And you're gonna be placing a double crochet and that will set you up for a design in the next row. Chain three. And again, in that same chain one space, place a double crochet. Chain three, one, two, three. Find the chain three space behind this design from the previous row right here. And you're gonna be placing a six loop puff. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yarn over, pull through the six, leave the last two. Yarn over, pull through the last two to close. Chain three. One, two, three. Find the chain one space between these two separate designs, which is right here. And go ahead and place a double crochet to set you up for a design in the next row. 
chain three and again in that same chain space double crochet chain three one two three and looking at the back of the design from the previous row place your six loop puff so that's one two three four five six yarn over and pull through all six leave the last two yarn over and pull through those two to close it up chain three one two three and before you end this row with your shell design find the final chain three space and place a double crochet to set you up for a design in the next row chain three and in that same and in that same chain space you're going to be placing another double crochet Now you're ready to end this row, chain three, one, two, three, and place your shell in the ending border. One, two, three, chain two, one, two, and an additional three double crochets. One, two, three. So this is what the back of our shawl looks like so far and this is what the front should look like you will continue making this pattern until you reach your desired size by repeating the rows I hope you guys enjoyed this video and like this pattern so please don't forget to like and comment to let me know that you did and don't forget to subscribe for more videos bye guys